grand rising earth signs welcome back to my channel let's see what you guys you guys have going on this week all right oh my goodness mercury retrograde are you ready so mercury retrograde starts tomorrow okay um and <clears throat> With that retrograde, okay, I feel like there's a lot of communication that's going to be had because it's all about communicating earth signs, all right, um, but the proper way to communicate, all right, uh, is retrograde and actually uh, Gemini and Taurus energy. So <clears throat> if you have Gemini or Taurus in your chart anywhere, it definitely could affect you. Of course, earth sign Tauruses, okay, this definitely could affect you. It is in your season. All right, happy birthday to all the Tauruses. All right, Taurus season. But let's see what's going on for the Earth signs. Overall energy for the Earth signs this week. It says we <laughs> becoming braver. Okay. Um. Yeah, resilience. So fresh perspective. Okay, growing in strength. So, I feel like you're going to be becoming braver. All right. You could be getting some sort of test coming your way here. Yeah. It's like you're finally coming down. Wow. Earth signs getting grounded. Returning to reality here. All right. Coming home. So, um, somebody is about to. I'm definitely getting that throat chakra energy. It's time to start talk that. It's time to start talking since now. All right. It says clock time right behind that. So, I feel like you guys, whatever you were doing or going through or whatever it is, it's like, all right, let me get my let me get my priorities together. Earth signs are saying this morning, okay, this week I am going to be getting my priorities together. So that's what earth signs are saying. So, hmm, if, yeah, all right, yeah, okay, so you're in this love conquers all energy. So, getting back to... I'm hearing basic. So, yeah, you could be getting back to self or self-love or wanting love or something like that. To do things with love, all right? So, grounded energy. So, if you were doing things here, like, yeah, look at that. The hunter wants redemption. So, if you were, like, if somebody was hunting you or stalking you or doing weird stuff to you, earth signs, I feel like they're ready to stop doing all that and just, like, you know, let me, let me... Get it together. Okay. Somebody may be, yeah, becoming braver here. Seeing things from a new perspective. That's really good. Yeah. Wow. This is definitely someone that was obsessed here. But doing things too quick. Thirsty. Thirst energy. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> wow. I just heard thirst for knowledge. Okay. So, there's something that this person could learn from you. Earth signs. Or this is something you can learn from somebody here. They're an ideal person here. All right, I'm hearing they want, I want to win, right? But somebody has really high standards here. All right, this could be you or someone else. All right, but yeah, that's why somebody in this anti-hero energy, because they want this person by any means necessary. I feel like this person could have even rebelled from their faith here of free will and all of this, because whatever is going on in the supernatural realm or the spiritual realm, yeah, somebody's having fears maybe of dying or Stuff like that, or somebody died here, yeah, because they stayed in some sort of religious belief too long. Okay, wow, yeah, because you're being watched. So, somebody is literally having a transfer or like some sort of rebirth, like how they think, what they see about how they used to think with their religious belief systems, or love, maybe relationships, or how they even view other people. This is deep earth signs. Okay, this is good though. This is a good deep, all right. That's what she said, but no. Let me get back to the reading. Um, Earth signs. <laughs> I'm sorry, Earth signs. Uh, let's see. Earth signs, Taurus, Virgos, and Capricorns. Like, I would stop the recording, but no, I'm going to just leave it. Earth signs. What's the message for my earth sign? So yeah, cleansing. I will, Father. I'm sorry. Okay, but no, cleansing your energy here. I feel like somebody's cleansing this obsession or whatever. Some sort of cleansing energy is me. Yeah. Wow. Purifying your heart chakra. This is beautiful. Yeah. 
Yeah, you want to see you're in a cycle of love and security this by the springtime. This spring here, masculine energy had that had passion for love, some sort of love spell may be going in the reverse here. Yeah. Wow, this responsibility. Yeah, so somebody act somebody is cleaning up their act. What? What made this person do that? But whoever this is, this could be someone that's connected to you or this is you. But somebody's cleaning up their act this week. Mercury retrograde, I guess, got a lot to do with it. Okay. That's what I just heard. Mercury retrograde. So this may have a lot to do with Mercury retrograde because that's that Taurus energy. You got to do the right things. Okay. Right your wrongs. Uh, clear communication. Gemini is all about communication. That's Mercury energy. Um, yeah. And that Hierophant Taurus energy here. I'm hearing you're such a beautiful person. So either you feel like someone is such a beautiful person or you they feel like uh, you are. All right. Take the message as it resonates in here for you, Earth signs. Okay. So, yeah, you're, listen, talking good shit. People like what you got to say. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit, for the confirmation. So, yeah, so somebody like that, you, what you got to say here, they could be doing divination, spying here. Someone is consulting the tarot, okay, getting information here. Wow. Okay, what's going on here? Maybe you said something to someone and this is like, wow, that's exactly what I need to do. Yeah, talking good shit. This narcissist woke up or listened to something. They're intrigued. What? Wow. So this narcissist is intrigued now. Like, wait, maybe I need to get my shit together. Wow. So a narcissist feel like you was talking some good shit or you this narcissist, you feel like somebody was talking that shit. And you're like, you know what? I do need to become braver. And, and see things from a higher perspective because I could do because there was some sort of obsession with somebody energy or something that somebody was craving maybe knowledge or somebody but that energy is like all right let me cleanse that energy here that Jezebel spirit or whatever somebody is ready to get into their feelings love okay hmm what yeah oh wow so yeah they were with a distorted female here so we got a narcissist distorted female with a poker face. Wow. That betrayed somebody that is a role model. And somebody is being nosy, seeing something was one-sided. So they started copying somebody. Oh, this is this getting Z. This is getting Z. This is getting Z. Let's see what's this. <laughs> what's this, y'all? Oh yeah. So yeah, somebody is a heartbreaker, breaker. Somebody's in a distorted feminine energy because they're heartbroken. Somebody walked away from them. Yeah, and, but this narcissist. Yeah, but there's some sort of narcissist here that's trying to talk some sense into this person or that did. Yeah. Yeah. And they may be realizing, damn, I need to love myself more. Or I need to do something. Da -da 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 -da. So somebody's turning me. They, 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 uh, you know, hopefully turning themselves around this distorted female that's a narcissist. Yeah. I bet you y'all thought it was going to be a masculine. Mm -hmm. No women narcissistic. But no, yeah, it's a distorted woman there that's a narcissist that was doing a lot of things out of heartbreak here. And they're changing that now. Okay. Well, let's see. What's, let's see. Let's see. What's the card to do? So you might get an apology this week here, or I feel like if you're this person, it's just like you're healing some things. Yeah, I feel like this empress here, I feel like there was some sort of struggle with the empress or it's too hard to be an empress. So I feel like it's too hard to be an empress. Like you got to do this. You got to be clean. You got to be like make somebody can like the party or have friends like they drink with or just do wild shit. Yeah, but I feel like somebody definitely is walking away from all things that causes imbalances in their life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this could have been someone that was doing some bad stuff to you guys or attacking you in some way or doing something that 
It's like, you know what I need to get my shit together because <laughs> this is, I'm a narcissist and I know this, yeah, King of Pentacles. Could be a Taurus, Aries, Pisces energy here, but this is definitely somebody that does a lot of things, does a lot, does a lot of things in fear, 1010 as I say that. All right, maybe scared of the Two of Cups connection or somebody did something they were afraid because of they were going towards the Two of Cups connection. So let's see what's coming towards y'all this week, though. Yeah, heartache and pain, Three of Swords, because somebody is in off, like, off balance or really, like, emotionally imbalanced, okay? Uh, Capricorn, Libra energy here, Ten of Swords, that to the point where they just see rage here. And they are afraid that there's some sort of karma on this path here. Or it's karmic justice for somebody to be on this path. Yeah. So, but they could have been planning to choose to do certain things to someone's person or something like that. But this is three of swords. Like somebody's getting a realization of something here. Why? Four of swords. All this. Okay. So, tower. So, somebody could have fell sick here or got ill due to this imbalance here. All right, tower moment, a sudden sickness or something like that. That because of an imbalance they caused or something was off here. That's the truth. All right. Could be a Scorpio. We got Libra here. All right. So somebody has definitely gotten sick over this person or because of this person. Uh, emotionally, somebody's heartbroken behind this person. It's a distorted female. Let's see. It's a narcissist here, but they... I don't know. Somebody said something to this person. They like, well, damn. I don't know. What is this um, obstacle here? The Ten of Pentacles. They regret it. They lost. They lost money. They're gonna lose a lot of money here. Mars. Yeah, Virgo or um, Scorpio because of this imbalance came to an end with the king of pentacles or they could have been trying to cause imbalances for a long time with this king of pentacles and the truth is finally coming out that something is going to be given to them some sort of wish here they wish that somebody would have ended something with this queen of wands but the truth is they definitely could have maybe i guess wanted some sort of proposal so they held them back from the empress and the empress could have got away and left them out in the cold now they feel stuck so, it's like somebody feels left out in the cold now that their empress got away because they feel stuck. It's like, so, so whoever this distorted female is, is, it's not fun anymore or it's, it's not what they thought because they didn't get the results that they wanted. It's like, y'all could be together or something like that. And they're like, but it's not fun because I can tell you're not happy or I don't know. I don't know what this is. What? What's this outcome here? All right. Yeah, judgment. Wow. Seven of Swords, Aquarius energy. So somebody going to go through judgment for lying about doing some sort of work here or planning something, maybe mastering something, doing over and over, lying about a marriage or relationship, a home, something like that, or lying to someone about that. What is the Three of Swords? Somebody heartbroken, yeah, that somebody healed or is getting a wish fulfillment. Yeah. What is the star? Four of Pentacles. Yeah, they healed from all blockages or they wish they could have held on to this person though or held them back. <clears throat> a Libra Aquarius, um, Capricorn. <clears throat> What's this for, Pentacles, please? But, yeah, somebody is single and they definitely about to be left down the cold because somebody walked away and they got the strength now here maybe to overcome difficulties or have the courage here to be the empress here. So somebody stopped lying. It's going to stop lying to or about a queen of swords here just to block them and cause imbalances. So somebody may stop lying about doing whatever they've been doing, obsessively doing here. There's the four of swords here. If something's being laid to rest. Yeah, this conflict, this drama. Yeah, it's like somebody don't want it anymore. All right, we got Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Um, I'm not Aries. Um, Libra. 
Okay, Aries could be involved. Somebody could be an Aries. What is this? Um, Five of Wands conflict here. Yeah, Two of Pentacles. Caused too much imbalances because somebody could have did something impulsively here. Maybe was wishing, I don't know, that they could be have a third party or come into union with the King of Wands here. I don't know. Somebody definitely could have wished that they wasn't friends with the King of Wands or I wish they was friends or something like that because something is way off. It's like I'm done causing imbalances here or I'm done with this conflict because something is, yeah. I'm here. It was blown out of proportion. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, it needs to stop now. Yeah, Page of Pentacles is like, it's been going on for a long time here. Yeah. It's like somebody trusting this person that's untrustworthy. It's like, I got to stop doing that. Yeah, because it's causing me heavy burdens to my new beginnings. It's like it's causing stalemates, making me miss opportunities. That's how somebody feel, making them miss opportunities here, you know, to the things that they want. Okay, just because they're afraid to apologize is causing a long delay or they're afraid to message someone they want to talk to or something like that. What's this um, Knight of Pentacles? So somebody's going to become braver this week. Knight of Pentacles, yeah, Eight of Swords. Yeah, it's like I'm stop being stuck in my head. I'm going I'm to say it. I'm going to just do it. I'm going to just say it or whatever this is. All right. What's the Ten of Pentacles here? This could be family, inheritance, success, wealth. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, damn, tower moment. Yeah, so this is a abrupt change here in the family dynamic. What's the tower? Yeah, with the Queen of Pentacles here. Yeah, I feel like they're going to be defeated here. This Capricorn Sagittarius energy, somebody wife or whatever. Yeah, because somebody is definitely planning to work together with someone. This marriage ain't working, I heard. Because this Three of Pentacles, yeah, it's over. Yeah, with the world. So somebody's like, listen, it's over. So somebody might tell a Queen of Pentacles is over or... That you're going to tell them that, okay? What's the Queen of Pentacles here? This may shock this person, though. Yeah, this person going to send this person in rage and jealousy because they're already jealous because somebody is beautiful. Uh-huh. Yeah, I feel like they're going to feel betrayed here that you had the confidence or something like that to come out of fear about your love, who you really love, and making you choosing this Queen of Swords as karmic justice to be on the path with your Two of Cups and reconciling and moving forward. Like, so somebody been trying to keep you stuck in fear in a family or something like that with money, whatever this is. And it's like, no, like you're breaking free of this and they gonna feel betrayed that you had all this confidence now to make this judgment call. This is someone that you, they feel heartbroken that you're gonna leave them, but they're a narcissist. Like, what the fuck? Male or female? Somebody's a narcissist. That's why they left. What's this? Um, justice, judgment. I'm sorry. So this is karma somehow. Cause somebody's obsessed. Like they do too much. It's like when if you say no, I don't want to be with you no more. If you're a masculine, it's like no, but you got to be together. We got kids. We got this. We got that. We got to stay. Like and if you're a feminine and it's like a dude that's doing this, and it's like they use the same excuses. What's justice? I mean justice, judgment. The full card. You made the final judgment call to leave. Yeah. Because you finally got the confidence to do this. We got Aries, um, Pisces, Energy. What's the full here? Yep. And you're going to get it. Yeah. Because you noticed somebody lied to you. A Leo or Aquarius here lied about something here. You trusted them. Yeah. But they was jealous here. So they caused some sort of heavy burden for you to have a new beginning with somebody you loved or something like that. Yep. That's it. Yeah. You're going to have victory and success. You're going to end anxiety, coming out of fear of this reconciliation. Looks like you're just going to go for it here and things are going to take off pretty quickly. Somebody's going to try to stop you from doing that or something like that. So just be mindful of that. Yep. Yep. 404 it says, God is putting a sacred protection of light around you here. You're a safe Saturday. So something could have been significant about Saturday. Taurus, okay. Mm, last weekend, why can't I find somebody like you? Somebody was sending the evil eye this weekend. Damn. <laughs> okay, but you're going to be protected from the evil eye. All right. You was the one, but they about to lose you for good, true love. That's what they wanted you to do. But they were trying to send this to this true love connection. You didn't lose this true love. 
you can still bring something into balance here. It says that you're, um, you have the ability to lift the hearts of everyone around you. Like our angel on earth, you're born to shine here. You made the right choice here. Okay. Yeah, because you learned this lesson. You get to let it go. This distorted female. You, you learned this lesson already. Okay. Yeah, I'm single. All right, now. Say that then. Yeah, religious belief systems. You about to ghost them. I know that's right. Somebody done with this the the religious belief systems, that entrapment energy. And they're about to ghost them. Okay. Yes. And if, when you do that here, you have a protection here. You're going to be protected from all evil. Any evil anyone try to sing you EFG or H here, it's like it's not going to happen. We got old love. So this could be an old love that could be bitter here. That they don't have power over a Libra or something like that. And they, they don't even feel bad about an Aquarius here or whatever happened. Like, child, somebody just or what they did to an Aquarius child. I don't know. At the end of the day, somebody just is low vibrational as fuck. Okay? And they mad. They didn't have the power that they wanted. And somebody is protected from all evil. And this distorted feminine just going to have to, you know, I don't know. Okay? I hope this helps you guys.